Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Calibra Crystal Guardians. On this episode, I'm going to be sanctifying him, or her, or whatever it is, it's a bird, um, converting one of my dupe succubuses, and possibly trying to see what I can do with the Garuda, because in all honesty, it seems very niche, but we'll see what happens. Um... From the summon video I got earlier, the second Garuda, so eh, why not sanctify it? Uh, for this one, a lot of people are going to go with these for damage, but I honestly think Garuda is more of a support than a nuke damage dealer, so I'm actually going to go with Hawkeye, because all of the skills require, you know, different levels of you know, abilities being applied, specifically like the karmatic, you know, effect. Um, these are the skills I'm going to be going with. I may change them up. I may do other things at whatever point. But for now, these are what I thought. Uh, first skill, decent damage multiplier, it seems. 420. Yeah, 420. Um, and a chance to burn. Meh. Pretty blah default skill. Um, this skill, dispel an enemy's buff and then deal a chunk of damage to them. And then, depending upon how low their HP is, it could do even more. Sounds kind of interesting. I'll have to test that at some point because it just says dispel an enemy's buff. It doesn't say buffs, like plural. So it could just, you know, dispel one buff. And then that's it. You know, they could have like the Elven Queen, immunity, invincibility, all that. You could remove the immunity and then just smack into an invincible. Eh, not really. If it was dispel all buffs and then do damage, yeah, that would be, I would definitely say that would be great. And if that's how it works, it just doesn't, you know, it, it was just a translation error, then it's a good skill. If it does enough damage. Um, this is the skill I thought I was going to go with. Like I said, all of these are different. Attack all enemies, deal damage, and then increase damage based on burn effects. It's an interesting one. I mean, it does damage to everybody based on burns. Not the best, but, eh. Um, with these, they're all a little interesting. This one, I can see being really good in, like, Leviathan. And that's just about it, all in all honesty. Because um, whenever, you know, Garuda smacked with a, blood, a bleed or burn or anything like that, it's transferred back to whoever is attacking with that. So it, it's good in certain situations, but it's, you know, it's a very specific use. This one is an interesting one. On every turn, at the end of every turn for Garuda, affect the lowest HP enemy with karmatic, uh, con karmatic conversion. Um, whenever they try to heal, they take that much damage instead. So if they got a big, nice heal, that will do that. Which could be interesting. Tech all enemies... This is the one I was thinking. Attack all enemies. Each attack deals some damage. Chance to burn them. And affect them with the karmatic conversion. So you're going to deal some damage to all enemies. You're going to burn all enemies. And you're going to affect them with karmatic conversion. The biggest issue is it's a five turn cooldown. Hmm. Or it's six turn until you max skill it. Then it's still five turn. So, but, you know, it goes up to 40% chance to burn and karmatic conversion. Which is why I put Hawkeye. Because you want those burns put on. So, it's it's got potential. I mean, it can burn a bunch of things. Put the karmatic conversion. The biggest reason... I see this being good is for teams 
like with the Selene, that rely heavily on heals. Or, you know, Dragoon. Whenever you smack Dragoon and it just keeps trying to heal itself, that could be very useful against that. Um, so those kinds of teams. Uh, a lot of people are annoyed by Druids. Um, that You know, this guy's seeing a little bit more play nowadays with the uh, Guardian Shield. So, it has, there's, there's specific uses for the Garuda. And I'll try to ruin him here in just a second. I'm leaving this rune on. It's nothing that I really care about, just so I can try to convert and see what happens. Um, I want the Genie, uh, an Archmage. There, there's a few that I'd take, in all honesty, but realistically, the only one I need is a Genie. Ah, uh, come on, Genie. Ugh. I already have Abyss Lord. Oh, well. I actually have two Abyss Lords six-starred. Got this one, and... Or, where's the other one? Got another one somewhere. Oh, wait, there he is. Yeah, I got two six-starred. And, in all honesty, I don't use the first one often enough to really want to bother with a second one, to be honest. Um, I actually... Uh, yeah, and the first one's already sanctified. Um... I might actually put some of these runes. Eh. No. I'll try to figure out what I want to put on Garuda here in just a second. Uh, let's see if I have any runes in my storage that I could put on Garuda. Uh, I'm thinking something like speedy, semi-tanky. Um, and we'll go from there. Berserk would be nice. Immunity would be nice. Jeez, when did I get... Hmm. I hate how it went into resistance, but it's not a bad rune. Uh, do I got a speed of any of these? No. I want a speed berserk that isn't like super, super high attack, like 20% attack. I mean, it, it, that's a great rune on somebody else. But... Hmm, I guess I'll try that one. Not the rune I want, but the rune I have, I guess. Um, why did I plus 15 to that? I'm not even going to ask. Um, immunity. Oh, man. Dang, I got a bunch of junks in here. I got a f Well, I guess that new event coming out will help allow me to, uh, get rid of a few pieces of uh, stuff that I don't need or that I'd rather convert. I don't want to pull runes off of somebody else, but I might have to, which would be annoying. Uh, I guess I could do with the crit damage. Kind of don't know. I, I think I'm going broken set at this point, but... Hmm. really like that rune, but that 13 speed is kind of handy. Uh, immunity. Oof. Guess I can go with that for now. Yeah, that's uh, not random runes at all. Okay. In all honesty, for sets for Garuda, I think Desperation would be great. Um, Berserk wouldn't be bad either. So Berserk, Desperation... I think Desperation would probably be the best. Then you got Berserk, which would be good. Agile wouldn't be bad. Um, for offsets, Immunity would probably be the best. Guard wouldn't be bad. Obviously, if you max out six pieces of Desperation or Berserk or something, that would be better. But, you know, Immunity would be probably the best two piece. But... They, they all seem like they would be pretty good for uh, Garuda. It, I think it's more of a support unit, to be honest. Not that it's a terrible... What? Ew. Do I even have enough to refine it? No. Dang, that is a waste of a rune. Oy. That's like a depressing rune. 
Um, I just need, I'm trying to get some speed. Oh, there's some HP on that one, that's not bad. Speed hit. But oh, that's, eh, I do need the hit. And I might not be able to get a full set. I really hope they come up with something to uh, improve this game for the uh, rune selections and picking. Uh, yeah, I think I might just go with that one for now. It's not great rune, but hmm, it'll work. And I want to get the rest of these as berserk so I can get the full berserk set. And that one has good speed. Ooh, 13 speed. That would be nice. Because you want Garuda to go earlier. Because you put Garuda down, throw all the, you know, the burns and the preventing, you know, preventing heals and stuff like that. This is a really weird Garuda build because I don't think I should do the, desp the crit damage on slot 4. I might have to switch that out. Speed, HP. You freaking... 18% crit rate. I'm gonna have to put that on somebody. That's actually a pretty nice run. Uh, jeez. Jump. Yeah, we have to fuse a bunch of these other junk runes because I have no idea where I'll be putting those. This one will work for now, I guess. Uh, well, actually, you know. I'll do that. That'll give me. It won't give me more speed, but it'll give me more crit rate, and I have a decent amount of hit now. So yeah, because that one has hit, crit rate, attack. Hmm, that could be a decent little. Uh, let's see here. Who do we have? Uh, oh, um, I forgot about this room. Let's just throw that on there. You know, just grab. Just. Just find a, you know, legendary speed per rate or yeah, that'll work. Um, God, that is not the right build for him or her, whatever it. That's not bad, but it's not the build that I was hope I wanted to go for to begin with. I mean, it's berserk, it's fast, and I guess it's gonna do some damage. I guess we get to play with damage. Um, yeah, since I'm not going to be playing with those, I will be pulling out. Where is she? Succubus. So a team for this is going to be different. Mm. Usually, I use like Enchantress, Windwalker. Succubus plus Nuker. The problem with this team is Garuda is not necessarily that Nuker. Okay, yeah, Succubus is faster. That's another thing I wanted to make sure real quick, is to make sure the Succubus is actually slow or faster than the Garuda. Because I don't want, you know, Garuda going before Succubus and then causing me headaches then. I can try that. Uh, t semi speed cleave type of thing against yeah, somebody with like a uh, Selene, if I can find one. That's gonna be the issue. Uh, he's got the no. Mm, I don't think this is going to work because I don't think Garuda can do the damage I need. And this thing does the shield, which is obnoxious. But this thing will try to heal. Karmatic conversion is gonna, you know, negate that. Uh, I guess we can try it. I mean, worst case I lose, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, and of course I forgot immunity. Oh yay. Um. So yeah. Guess we'll test out skill one, shall we? Uh, that did amazing, by the way. 
elemental advantage and everything. Oh, man. Eh. As soon as the, um, yeah, you're just going to go to sleep. As soon as the, um, destruction idol goes, there we go. Now I can do it. Oh, kills her, kills herself with the, um, reflect damage. Yeah, that, um, that doesn't work. The immunity runes completely screwed that up. Uh, I got a feeling he's also on freaking immunity runes, but I think I'm going to have to try that one. That's another thing. I'm going to have to build this team differently. So many of these teams I could beat. It's just trying to find a very specific type of team to fight. No, same person. Uh, Jaylen? No. Uh, I guess I got to flip. No, not Tony. The one right below on me. Come on. I don't want to do this because I have a very... St oh, no defense break. You are dirty. I guess we can try without the defense breaker. And something like this, maybe? It shouldn't work. It really, really, really shouldn't. Um, I swear, if this works, I'm going to be pissed. Because this should not work at all. And he's probably all immunity. If he's all immunity, I'm screwed. Uh, no, not all immunity. Um, let's see here. He will. Let's just reduce the energy. All right, well, we'll just stun you then. Uh, reduce your energy or not. Uh, do this. So now the karmatic conversion, you see that on them? That is what you want. So whenever Selene goes to try and heal, that's going to, you know, prevent her from being able to do anything effectively. Uh, that seems interesting. So I'm waiting, I'm hoping that Selene goes and goes, yep, there you go. They hurt, it actually hurt them instead of healing them. Well, that's kind of handy. Uh, we'll just finish that one off. Well, you're supposed to stun. Yeah, see the the um. That's actually really nice. The um, iron giant or whatever the hell his name is. I always forget him. Uh, whenever he tried to go for his turn, he was supposed to be healed by the, um, ooh, he was supposed to be trying to be healed by that skill, but the karmatic conversion actually made it so he hurt himself instead of healing himself. Now, I'm going to keep her, keep the Garuda going. Um, yeah, every time they try to heal, it kills themselves just a little bit more. You can actually watch it on the uh, Asur whenever the Asur finally gets to go. Um, eventually. No, oh, he's gonna die now. Never mind. Oh, geez, tanky. Yeah, because the, uh, yeah, he's just gonna die. But, huh, it's interesting. I mean, it's a niche use. I don't foresee that being the most effective type of thing for every scenario. But in certain situations where they're gonna be trying to bruiser it, I think because of how little damage I just watched the Garuda do, even though it is on plus 100 crit damage and you know a decent amount of attack, the Garuda did like no damage. Granted, most of them were tankies, but that's the situation you want to use Garuda in. I think in all honesty, I would do something like speed hit, or no, speed HP hit or speed HP attack, kind of like a bruiser build, or just speed HP HP, and rely heavily on the burns and stuff, the burns, karmatic, you know, conversion and all that, 
But the Groot is not bad. I mean, it's really not. I think it's too niche for me to really want to use it often at all. So it's probably one of the worst Nat 5s, to be honest. Certain situations, it's the best unit. But overall, I don't see the Garuda being good for any dungeons. Um, it's not good in uh, Colossus. It's not good in the Leviathan because they don't try to heal. Hydra is all about multi-hits and big, big burst damage. It doesn't, you know, it might be all right for the heal. But nope, nope. Hydra has the uh, passive ability blocks the, um, you know, anything but like attack break, defense break, etc. Magic, it's good for the magic catacombs because the magic catacombs tries to heal itself. So it's good there. Lawful, it's good because it has element advantage. But in all honesty, I don't see it good for any anything else. The vapor dreamlands, it could be decent for certain situations. But overall, there's only a couple floors that I can see it actually being good. Uh, Spire. It could be good um, for like the Dragoon boss stage. If you don't want to passive block the boss, then you can, you know, Karmatic Conversion. Or if you don't have anything to silence passive and you have a Garuda, that could work. I don't see it being good at all for Lair. So... That's more or less it on Garuda. I mean, it's niche. It's not great. It doesn't do a lot of damage for anybody wondering. I mean, obviously, this isn't the highest damage, you know, yielding build. Because, I mean, I got speed on slot 2 and some berserk and all that. But it has enough stats. It should do a decent amount of damage. But it really is lacking. So, I wouldn't recommend building it for attack even though it is an attack type unit, because it's more based off of its debuffs and burns and chromatic conversions and stuff like that. I see it being good against Selene, but there's so few healers in the game other than Selene that you really only use it against Selene teams, and ah, there's so many better alternatives, to be entirely honest. So... My re my review on or my opinion on Garuda is it's not good. It, it's sad. I've wanted it to make content and everything like that, and mine sanctified and everything. It just isn't that good, sadly. It's just too niche of a use, even with other skills. Like I can, I'm gonna test that later, see if it you know dispels a buff and everything like that, but or if it dispels one or all the buffs, but. Even then, you're dispelling a buff, and then you're doing damage. If you're not applying a defense break or anything like that, like, if you steal the buffs off the unit, defense break, and then nuke, then it would be a great skill. But it's only a single target, and it, it sounds like it's only a one buff thing. And you don't do anything but a big hit of damage. So, mm, honestly, I don't see it as that good of a unit. Sadly. But let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe on this video and my channel. I'm trying to grow. Eventually, I hope to hit 1,000 subscribers. And then I might start doing some giveaways and some other stuff around that time. Please, you know, comment what you think. And let me know what you got. Catch you guys next time.